What's up guys? Sean here with a 2007 Honda Shadow Arrow. Like always, this is the uh, walk around video. I'm going to show you everything, everything about this thing so that you can buy with confidence. Really good looking bike. Let's, uh, let's start from the back and we'll walk, work our way around this thing. <clears throat> Coming in here, looking at the, uh, the seat. Looks good. Got the fenders looking good, the chrome. That's all looking good. Look up here, a little bit of, you see like a little bit of scuff, scuff in the, you know, very light, probably buffed out right there. That's a, might be a scratch right there. Come down here, now this is, this is probably the worst thing on the whole bike. Just some real light uh, scratches in the paint right here. If you can see them. And that was actually most likely from uh, someone transporting the bike. That's by far the worst flaw on the bike, little chip right there. And you come down here. Some really light scratches right there on the side. It's like a little tiny dent right there. This all looks good. Now when you come to this plate right here, there's just kind of little tiny imperfections all over it. You know, like light scratch there, scuff, scuff, scratch, scuff. Kind of just a bunch of little minor stuff. Nothing that you would really notice or would, would probably stop you from buying the bike, but I just want to point it out. The exhaust looks nice. Engine. Nope. Engine's nice and clean. Come over here, the tank looks good. No chips on the front. No, like all black tanks. There are just minor little, you know, just scratches throughout the whole thing. That's just, when you zoom in, you can see. When you get outside, you don't notice them, but inside the light, you can only see them. And that's just, that's just all black tanks. I don't know why. I don't know why, but if you uh, if you buff that, you can probably get that looking pretty good. I mean, it looks good now, but you can probably get made looking, get looking perfect. Um, come down here, look at the fender. Fender looks good. Rims look good. Tires, a big old fat tread. Come to the front of the fender. We got a little little scuff right there. Couple little scuffs right there. And then we got a little scuff. We got a, no, I, I can't even pick this one up with my nail, but there's a little scuff right there. A good recon person could definitely take that out. All this looks nice. Here, this is all looking good. Tank looks good. Little bug. <clears throat> Engines looking nice. And then same thing with this side cover. Just a little, couple little nicks and scratches and. Scuffs on them. 
really hard to see. These are uh, adjustable rear shocks. Um, you just turn that with a spanner wrench and you can change the, uh, the stiffness of it, which is nice for uh, you know different weights of different people or riding double or something like that. This is shaft driven and this, all this stuff looks real nice and clean. Come down over here and all the lights look really good except for this one. This has some little, uh, some of the, the plastic chrome is kind of coming off of it. You hardly notice it until you get real close to it. And then come down here, it's just a little dusty. But uh, this part of the fender looks real good. See what else? Seats look nice. And these bar ends, lever ends, mirrors. No scratches on them. Turn the key. This is the bike got 10,049 miles on it. Let's uh, let's fire it up. Fires up real good. I didn't even choke it. Runs real nice. Check out the uh, test drive video. Definitely a good running bike, and it's a, it's a nice sized bike. You know, it's more of an entry to mid level, but nothing about it looks small because it's not because those big old fenders and stuff. Uh, rev it up a little bit for you. All right, guys. That's the walk around of the Honda Shadow. This bike is for sale. It's a 750. It's got 10,000 miles on it. And um, this bike's gonna sell fast, guys. It's gonna sell real fast. It's gonna be a great price point. So uh, subscribe to the channel, and um, I'll put my number and the price below. All right, thanks, guys.